Today we're gonna talk about the Webflow HubSpot integration. We're gonna integrate some forms, we're gonna add the HubSpot chat to our website, and we're gonna see some tips and tricks on how to make the best out of this integration. Let's go. Hi, I'm Yar, and today we're gonna look into the HubSpot Webflow integration. Thankfully, HubSpot and Webflow worked on making this integration super easy. Now, there is the HubSpot app on the Webflow marketplace. You can just install that on your website and you can have most of the HubSpot features right there, easily integratable, just a few clicks away. Now, this was super complicated in the past. I had clients that I spent days just trying to integrate some of the forms, some of the features that they requested. And now this can be done in just a few clicks. Before we start, just make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this channel. Your support means a lot and your support makes me do even more videos. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so let's see how this is done. Now, I want to include HubSpot on my site so that I have analytics and tracking. And I want to connect this form also to HubSpot. I want to add the chat and we're going to see how some features work. We're going to use some of the HubSpot API and we're going to see how we can trigger some of the chat functions with that. So let's begin. I have made a new HubSpot account, so we're going to integrate that from scratch. So you're going to see the process from zero and how to make this happen on your own website. First, we go to the apps and we open the marketplace and then we're going to install HubSpot. It's right there. I'm just going to click and it shows us some, some of the summary, some of the details about this app. We're just gonna install it. And we're gonna go to your ER website. That'll be the first one. And then we're gonna authorize. And now it's gonna ask me, is this the website? Yes, this is the account that I choose. And we're gonna choose account. And then we're just gonna agree to this. Gonna wait for seconds, two, one, close tab, and here we go. Now, if we go back to our website, we just refresh. Okay, so now that we refreshed, we can go to the apps, we can see HubSpot right there. And we're gonna click on launch, and then we're gonna go to our little widget. We're gonna go to manage connections just to check if it's connected correctly. And we can see that okay, this is the old account. If you have multiple accounts connected. I removed this account and now I install this account, which is uh, this one. And I can see that they're both connected. So now I'm good to go. We can start with adding forms. So the first step is adding forms. Now first, we're gonna create a div block here to add the form. Now there are three, I think three ways to add a HubSpot form. First is to embed a HubSpot form. Second is to embed an HTML form that you can style from HubSpot. So that's a form that you can set the styles yourself. It's not embedded in an iframe so that it's easily customizable. And the third method is to connect your own form and to HubSpot. So let's try each of them out. First one is add an existing form. Now we don't have any form on our web on our HubSpot account. So we're just going to go to HubSpot. We're going to go to marketing and then we're going to go to forms. Now forms is where you're going to create a new form, free form. I'll set this up myself. Uh, this will be an embedded form. We're going to choose it. We're going to choose a contact us form, for example. And then we're going to put, maybe style it a little bit, put the first name here, the last name here, or maybe just remove the last name. I don't like last names. So first name, email, message, and that's it. You can customize the options, you can customize the styles and automation and all that if you have a paid account, but we're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna name this HubSpot test form. We're just gonna click on update, click on publish, and that's it. Now it gives you some codes and you can embed this code if you're using something other than Webflow, but on Webflow, we don't have to copy any of this. As long as we created the form, we just go back, we see that we have a form here. So we're gonna go to our Webflow website. We're gonna open the app, now it's already open. We're gonna click on the place where we want to embed the form. 
we're going to go to add HubSpot form on the page. We're going to click on this drop down. We can see the form that we just created. So we're going to click on that. And now you can see it gives you some options. First is add stylable HubSpot form. So this is a form that you can style here in Waflow. So it's a HubSpot form, but you can style it yourself. Now, there are also two ways to do this. So first you just add this form. So let's try this out. So we click on the div block, add the form on the page. So it gives you a raw HTML form that you can just style. And that, for example, I want to add the style of this text field main to my text field basically so this is how it's going to be and uh, it just copies exactly what you have set up on your style guide the second way is to add let's remove this first and uh, the second way is to add a hubspot style form, but with some hubspot styling so if you turn this on it's just going to give you some hubspot styling like those uh, orange buttons the fields it's done by hubspot of course, you can style this further. Let's say I want to add my text field or I want to move this and my text field. It's still going to copy whatever I have on Webflow, but it starts as a HubSpot form. Now we don't need this either. The third way is to embed a non-customizable iframe. And that is the iframe that uh, is copied from here. So if we go to here, if we go to Actions, View, View Form, so this is this is basically it. So I'm going to embed this part on my website. And let's see how to do that. So if we go to edit form, we go to update, publish. I'm just going to copy this URL here. And then we're going to go to our HubSpot page, our Webflow page. I can keep confusing those. So HubSpot share URL. You're just going to paste that URL here. So you click on the div block. You go and add form to the page. Now you can see it's an iframe. Now I can't interact with this iframe on the designer. I'll have to publish my website to see how this iframe works or test it out. Now, unfortunately, iframes, if you don't have a paid account, comes with a HubSpot um, branding. So you can see this is the iframe. I can fill it up and send the message and everything should work normally. Now, we don't need this iframe either. We don't even need this div block. Okay, so what I need to do is not embed a HubSpot form. I want to connect my own form to HubSpot. So in order to do that, we're gonna create a new form on HubSpot. I'm gonna choose an embedded form and we'll use a blank template. We have the email field, that's great. We're gonna add a name field just to match what is there on my Webflow form, which is a name field, an email field, and a message field. So this will be name. And that is name here. And then we're gonna add a message field. So we look for message. This is the message field. I'm just gonna add it here. So we have first name, email, and message field. So these have labels and the label says message, this one says email, and this one says name. So remember these labels because we're gonna use them now. So we update, we publish this form. Now it's published. We're just gonna name it Webflow Contact just so that we can distinguish them. Publish, great, all down Webflow Contact is right there. We go back to our Webflow site, we're gonna refresh, and then we're going to test it out. So we click on the form block, and that's not the form block with this icon. It's this one. We go to apps. We launch the HubSpot app. And then let's move this here. We're going to click on map Webflow form to HubSpot form. And then we're going to select the form that we want to map, which is Webflow contact. And then we can map it. Now, as you can see here, it does not allow me to do this. And to solve this problem, we'll just need to add labels. Now, in my case, my form does not have labels. So this issue comes up. And to solve that, we just need to go to the Add panel. We click on Label and each one. So we have, we're have we going to have three labels. So this will be Name. And then we're just going to have a field here and one here. So this will be name, this will be email, 
and this will be message now we can hide these so I'm just gonna hide them because I don't want to see them hide hide okay I just need to have the labels so now if I go back to my HubSpot app and I click on map workflow forms I click on the form and then I click on workflow contact you can see that now I can map the fields so I'm just going to do that so first is HubSpot name then it's HubSpot email then it's HubSpot message I'm going to save this and now it's connected so if I go here on form and I go to settings I can see that there is a custom attribute added if I go on name I can see a custom attribute here email and here message so this is correct I'm going to publish my site and we're going to test this out and see if this is working fine fingers crossed let's go to the website so let's test that out so your test will be my gmail just add this and this is a test and we submit i get the thank you message that is on webflow that i set up on webflow so this is the one i set up on webflow it's not the one i set up on hubspot and that is great and then now if i go back to my hubspot form i refresh I can see that there's one form submission and that is your test contact the one I just uh, did so this is working fine so now we're going to look into how to add the HubSpot chatbot on our website now we go back to the HubSpot app we go to add the HubSpot chatbot to your site now this step is a bit more complex we will need to add some codes so we view the HubSpot chatbot library uh, now I already have a chat I'm gonna delete it so we start from scratch and you can see this process step by step now first thing is create chat flow we're gonna use a website chat and it's gonna be an inbox chat so it's connected to my inbox on HubSpot uh, the language is English we're gonna create it it's a live chat actually not a knowledge base I don't have a knowledge base so we'll just use a live chat I'm gonna create this and uh, we can of course adjust it and customize it later on we're gonna call this webflow chat and we're gonna publish it so now it's published saved we go back to our chat flows we can see this right here now we'll just go back to our profile and preferences we'll go to inbox we'll go to the inbox here and we can see that we have a chat live bot we're going to edit it we're going to see the availability now you can set this up based on your own preferences but we're just going to go to the tracking code we're going to copy this and then we're going to go back to our site now on our site on our workflow site we're going to go to pages page settings and then we're going to add this code before closing body tag save and then publish let's see if this works now this takes a bit of time to work maybe it's not going to work in the first one and let's try actually it worked it's right there click you can chat with me hello yar and since this is on the contact form this is what I want so now you can see I can got I got a notification I go to my inbox I can see my details now since I already submitted a HubSpot form or a workflow form or a form for that matter I am already registered so they already know my name another thing that we can do with the HubSpot app is import assets from HubSpot directly to workflow now you can go to the HubSpot app, you launch it, you click on import HubSpot assets to your site, you click on it and then here you can search through your assets, upload the one that you want and use it. Unfortunately, I don't have any assets. My HubSpot account is new as you already saw. So we're not gonna be able to see this feature work but it is as easy as clicking here, searching through your assets and uploading it. However, today we're going to do something cool, which is using the HubSpot API to trigger the chat. So what we have here, for example, we have the chat bot, and then when we click on it here, it opens up. What I want to do is have my own button here that when I click on it, this opens up.
So let's see how we can do that. Now we go to the, our Webflow site and then we're going to add a new button. Let's add a custom element and let's call this button. Give the tag of button. And then we're going to give it this style actually. I like this style. And then we're going to add a text inside it that says open chat. And this will be full width. That is 100%. All right, so this is a huge button that says open chat. Now, we're going to set this button to open our chat. Now, to do this, we're going to use some custom code. So I have this code installed. So we're going to just copy this code here. And then we're going to go to our page. We're going to go to the page settings. And then we're going to install this code right here. Now, this code says it's going to get the element by ID hub. And when we click on it, it's going to call this function, which is a HubSpot API function, HubSpot conversation widget open. Now I'm going to leave a link to the API documentation so you can see what other features you have there. But for now, we're just going to use this open feature, click save. And then we're going to publish our site and let's see how this works. Now when we go to our publish site, we're going to refresh. And then when we click open chat, we forgot something, which is adding the ID. So here you go to the attributes, you go to ID, this will be hub. Now we publish again. Big mistake, big mistake. Let's go back to our site, we refresh, we click on open chat, and as you can see, it opens it, it doesn't close it. We can have another button to close it, close it from here, and we'll click here, it opens, closed from here click here opens you can have another button that says close and that's basically it for hubspot now there are more features when you get the paid plan and you can do more automation you can do more email campaigns but the basic features is still the same and you're just going to use the same steps to integrate your website and then from hubspot you can automate what happens next and that's the magic and the power of HubSpot is allowing you to do a lot after your contacts has been registered on the CRM. And that's basically the video for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Just make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on more videos on this channel. See you in the next one.